Hello everyone and welcome back to Wildemuth, Eluna and the Moth. Dad is finally off the treadmill, my hiccups have finally gone away, we should be okay to record for a little bit, hopefully, please, please God, please. Let's get, just get right onto it, okay? Everyone is busy, everyone is doing something, we're attacking Dovestone Cave, Apothecary. Fall Tide, Fall Colors, the Moth Rose, and I'm heading down the mountain. You stay if you want. Galandra! Galandra Proom! Thought I might have lost my way, but here you are. And Mayan, is he inside, or did you two... Who's... Hey, is that you, my old confidant, Maid Ellen? Following my gear up these switch these switchbacks like an ox. Look at you, all adventure-worn. Hopefully not too worn, we're here for the Draven. Or heard they were under Dovestone Cave in the valley? You have heard the same things, people in the lowlands are getting driven out. Yeah, what... Well, hey, Dylan, you remember my husband. Husband now, is it? The home smells like six kinds of sage. Galendra asked for my hand, if you'd believe that. Why wouldn't she believe it? Well, spruce the place up a bit since you were last this way. Mine's good at digging and sawing and building and all. Hey, Dylan's been talking you up as some apothecary. It runs in my family, you could say. Medicines for illness, treatments for pain, shrining un unctions and oils for other needs and uses, plus, you know, general stuff, herbs and herbal things. She has a healing skill, not just mixtures. You'll boast about it, see? And all I'm saying is it's worse than landslides nowadays. I'm sensing a lover's quarrel. Want some time? Need a neutral ear? No, it's... we lost his s sister to a landslide. This time last year, I was just foraging down the hill and the wind was high. Rainy summer, you know? That's a possibility around here? It's not about my sister. The little villages need healing hands, supplies, but drop and rule the slopes now. It's just getting worse. We're not capable of fighting them off. So I'm saying, if they can, folks will climb up to us. We need to be stocked and ready. Right, that's good sense, but I guess Galendra wants to dare the danger? There, whatever. I'm saying, what good healer asks the wounded to drag their gnawed on bodies to her door? I've got to go down there and help them. Bait Ellen? I'm gonna watch the valley. Irvin? You know these people too? I'll just be a little bit. I'm just not sure what magical power you think you wield. I'll keep you safe. You're softer than me, dear, and I won't like my chances. I need you too. How long will you listen to this? Look, you can put your argument away. Well, it's not really your business either way. It's just, we come to route this Draven, and we will. We'll make the lowlands safe. She serious? Bait Ellen's a warrior. I mean, we'll support you, but we're not even militia trained. Aside from water and bandaging, we... Marion, stop. They're willing to do what's needed, no matter what it might cost them. We should follow their example. Hold on, your husband's right, Galendra. We're fighters, you're apothecaries. Your hands will be needed. Don't waste them on our work. I'm just saying the risk should be worthwhile. You'll need strength to swing an axe. A willingness to sacrifice is most often where your strength is born, Marion. Um... I think the first one sounds better, in general. You think I'm a reckless fool, then? No, I mean, I love stories where unlikely heroes face problems they never prepared for, and they succeed against all odds, but it's... it doesn't usually end that way. Galendra, you're brave, so brave, and so brilliant, and look, if I didn't love you so much, I wouldn't be so sad on holding you out of this. It's fine, dear. I just hope... Well, thing now is to give you all the aid we can, right? Bait Ellen, Irvin, let's figure out what you need. The apothecary and her husband provide Bait Ellen and Irvin with tonics and the recipes to repeat, along with some other spare supplies. For Baydellin in particular, the medicines she learns of that day will have lasting effects, helping her keep her body fit and her mind sound. After the coming battle, Galentra and Mary Marion Plume will be bring relief to the valley people. That's what it'd be like if you and I were married. I would honestly rather choke on a rock. Yeah, yeah, I do hope they end up happy. Plus 18 tenacity, huh. Hides and fabrics, neat. Some bonus supplies. What does, uh, what's tenacity do? Stats. Tenacity. Aptitude for overcoming. 
History, human, late middle age. Hmm. Alright. Interesting. Okay. Smack. Uh. There you go. Leap. Smack. Sentinel. And, um. Uh, whale. Let's see. Shardnado. There we go. Let's plop that right there. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, that might be a problem. Okay, at least he's down. Okay, he's shining fireball. Yeah, let's just straight up move you up here. Um, Sentinel. Smack. And let's get you out of there and maybe move that Chardonnay again, huh? Uh, Lasso Chardonnay. Come on! Ah, oh, dodge again, really? Not cool. There we go, that'll do it. Uh, harvest. There we go. That's a single action. Sentinel. Hmm. We got nothing. Okay. Well, you know what? May as well just also sentinel you, I guess. Or guardian, rather. And... Here. Let's, uh, let's do a discus. Why not? Hey, kill the bird. Excellent. Bed Eleni got this one, right? Tarvius got it. Excellent. I'll take it. Uh, Leap. Uh, Sentinel. And, and yeah, you know what? You just uh, provide some backup. And you as well. Aha! Draven are easy to deal with, I think. Especially when they go down in one hit from Bedell and Spear. There we go. Excellent. And they're dead. Okay, Tarvia and Irvin both close to leveling. That's good. Uh, sure, we'll give that to you. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. Secure this. You guys good? Okay, let's have you guys scout out this next area then. Take care of these Thrixel. Okay. Nolus. Oh, uh, actually, one thing. So, uh, one, one thing I did notice, Tarvia does not have a nickname but I did kind of give her one in past campaigns. Um, she has... Uh, she has the gem eye, and it's very purple. And what gem is very purple? That's right, it's the Amethyst. I already kind of mentally called her Amethyst in past campaigns, so I just figured I should add that as well. Because, you know, it fits, right? I think it fits. Anyways, back to the game. Right, what were we doing again? We were, uh... We were doing stuff. We were going to attack another area. And you were doing that. Let's get you guys over there and Nolas will meet you there. Okay. You guys are going to attack this area. Block words. Some kind of basement over here. They've been late all day, late rising, late on the trail, late to recognize sunset, and late spotting this ruin. It's the remains of a smallest structure displayed and molding in the starlit clearing. Linny, stay close to the wall, like walking on wet turtles, these old steps. What do you... oh, little fire? What a first down here in some time. Someone worked at this table, knife lines, stains of sediment, ash on the floor. It's chalk. What are these hash marks? And what's in the box? Remember the, there's that verse in Opal Night when Sparinar comes to the Umber Lady's Hall? 
Past the opened portal, shadows packed like ravens plumed, dimming all discovery, sharply dark and darkness doomed. Sorara's spark lights shimmer spent, snuffed, dispelled, left all in gloomed. This place isn't like that, I guess, but Noah's poem perfect. Some of the verses that came later. I used to cover my ears as a girl, I mean. This box is a puzzle locked, if anyone cares. Hmm? One of those magic puzzle locks. Oh, is it words or numbers? Words. Thank all gods! Remind me how these function? It's a lot like schoolwork. Lock words, they call them. The words are phrases that spring the box open. The magic lock prevents a, presents a prompt with a clear slate to write an answer. The wise wanderer finds home where... From the looks of this place, owner didn't do much wandering. Ugh. Well, hair's turning out better than I thought. Could cook dinner and make, make an eye of it? Shock some guesses? We've still got those wild peppers, don't we? Do we? Hope not. They haul their gear down the slippery stairs. Elsie investigates the blocked chimney pipe. Goes above ground a while and clears it from that end. Linny picks up a moldy journal, thinking to avoid camp work. Joke's on her, though. The writing demands heavy edits. Jamie toils over an all-right stew, not sparing the seasoning much thought. They shout and scribble guesses in the meantime. Who comes up with the correct lock words? The wise wanderer finds home where... Where the wandering desires an end. Where her feet once began. Where the money one runs out. Wandering desires an end sounds about right. Click. Just then, a clatter of sleek, buggy legs echoes into the basement hollow. Must have heard our treasure box open. Well, what's in there, though? Materials. Looks good. Look, Materials looks like. Good ones. Satisfied? Yeah, I suppose. We got an ingot. All that for an ingot. Oh, boy. Thrust sicker moves, graphics. Ooh, this is gonna be bad. Kin stand. Bus busy hands are blurs beneath its brooding bulk. Seen close, the globes palms round are full of lucent dreams. This thing's gonna make more Thrixel, ain't it? I feel like this thing is just gonna make more Thrixel. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Alright, let's just wait. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a fuse. Huh? <laughs> Lore dump overloads an enemy's brain with knowledge, dealing damage and often leaving them stunned. Sure! Let's, uh... Huh! Alright, well, that's an interesting take on it. In K. Uh, what's this do? 5 to 9, 8. Okay, slightly more, but not a whole lot, really. Okay, so you can actually take both of them out. That's good. And Linny can take out this guy. No alarms for you! Okay, and let's just get in position for the next one then. Okay, open door. Oh boy! Spawn chrysalis. Spawns two Thrixel chrysalids that will hatch after two turns. Oh yeah, that... that thing is, uh... calling in friends. Definitely. Yeah, um... Can we do a lore dump on this guy? Lore dump! From here to here! Stunned! Haha! -ha. Take that! And... take this! And while you're at it, how about... Uh, you know what? Can I throw this down somewhere? No, cannot. Oh well. Uh, one of these! No babies for you! It's fine, we're not killing babies, we're just killing the mother. Is that worse? That feels worse. Oh, come on. She has so much armor! How'd you get through that? Okay, so looks like the second attack actually goes through warding, not armor. That could be a problem, uh, especially with all this. Okay, Elsie might need to back up a little bit. Ugh. I don't like that. Um. Hmm. I guess do that. Um. Let's see. Can I get all. No. Okay. 
We got all the thrusts. Elsie, you have very little warding defense, though, so I want you to fall back a little bit. We cannot afford to let you die. Sure, repair your armor, I guess. And keep an eye out. And... You shoot that guy. Okay, took out all the thrusts. Now we just got bigger guys to deal with. Lots of big guys. Lots and lots of big guys. Okay. Um, flare, wood, bone lance. Hmm. Uh, splinter blast, I guess. Uh, splinter blast. Okay. And then can we just keep picking them off like this? Possibly. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna just put you here, Guardian, just in case something gets close, I guess. Probably not gonna. Hopefully. Okay, uh, let's get you to interfuse with this. Put it over here. Then you can shoot it. Okay, that's good. And you know what? You back up because that thing has like an AoE burst there. That might hurt. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. I'm gonna fire leash you to here. Yep. Um, I'm gonna pop you on this again, and now I could, if I can take out like two of that, two of them, that would be great. Okay, let's, you know what, let's try this. I don't know, I could have tried to aim for these guys, but uh, it might not have been worth the risk, actually. That ah, balls. Well, she's visible now. Graphics. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, yeah. You fall back. Uh, remove the mind worm. And you know what? Let's just keep throwing fire at these things. You know why? Why? Uh, why stop what works, right? Okay, this guy's probably gonna be coming in. So let's keep Elsie guarding. Okay, and then just repeat. Just rinse and repeat. Ooh, actually. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, no. Um Okay, we got we gotta try. We gotta try. Untouchable! She can't be hurt. Yes, that's it. That's the answer. The scorier can't hurt her. Because untouchable. Oh thank god. I was kind of scared for a second there. And damn! Steal that fire! And then smack him! Okay! Easy! Got a little scared there, but we're alright. Good. There we go. Stunt chance six. Let's see, who could use more stunt, huh? Uh, how about some mare? There we go. Get her in the 20s. A named place. It may not be tie turning, but something significant happened here today. We should name this place. I mean, something like Ash Post Homes? Well, sure, there's the overall place, but what about a specific clearing or cliff? You think they have names? A thing you name may tell your story, however quietly and slowly. Anyway, a little commemoration never went amiss. The top of a nearby mound of stones seemed to fit Jamie's vision. A perfect vessel, strong enough to hold even weighty memories. The Earthen Witness, it takes its name this day. You have an official process for this? One makes one's own, a place one low. Jamie lit a tiny fire on the crag as the sun stretched out, building small piles and saying a few words. Linny wondered if she just enjoyed the motions of a ritual just a little too much. But when she came back down, something did feel different. 
the company took a moment to acquaint themselves with the earthen witness on their way out. Then continued on, hiding small smiles from Jamie. Oh, that's cute. Okay, the, uh... The, those things have extra health, that's good. Everyone else is slowly gathering. Let's try and take out the Umlaw and Timberland. Uh, in this episode, and then we'll next episode we'll gather everyone up for the final push. Some extra dodge. You know what? Put that on you. We're gonna be taking you into the final one. How are you guys feeling? You all full up? You're all full up. Okay. Yeah, no. Let, let's just let's just go with the crew we got. I'd love to bring along Elsie, but she's already hurt, and we gotta we gotta wait. We got we gotta save her for the next fight, I guess. Okay, got all this. Okay, that's an axe. Anyone need an axe? No, not really. Alright, we'll just salvage that. Bonus damage. You know what? Give that to Elsie. We'll gather you guys over here as well. And this group will clear up this. We're going in. We're going in raw. Crack Eagle. Almost to drift corn. Almost to drifty corn loanings, aren't we? How would I know? Well, there's a decently high hill. Good vantage point. Let's climb it. <sighs> that was steeper than it needed to be. Quite a view, though. I'll say that. The top, the highest hill. Something's here. Tarvia, this isn't safe. A big old thing. With a bigger, older mama? Come on, let it be. Let's sit down. Well, I'm gonna take it. 45%, I don't like those odds. Let's let's just head down. There are a couple of scared bunnies. Which live longer than the unscared ones. They pick their way down, and not a moment too soon. Ah! Up in the nest, the mother eagle lights for a moment, but does not settle. Ooh, she's massive. Definitely a crag eagle. Uh, it's coming this way? Slash! Ooh, sure! Alright, yeah, that was pretty close. Irvin, you alright? I'm quicker than you. I'm fine. She's back on her nest. Got to respect the fury of a nature's mothers. There's no reward for doing the right thing. But remember this feeling, and... Ooh, catch it! String it on a cord! Health, ranged accuracy, and potency. Um, you already got some. You know what, Tar Tarvia wanted the egg, you take it. Alright, let's take this thing out and get ready for next episode, huh? Okay, looks like it's just one of these, nothing super special. They, Their charge scatters the foe. Remember, just take it slow. We got this. We can handle this. Uh, interfuse with that. Bone Lance. Yeah, boy. Uh, 15 to 17. Oh my god. Yeah! Baytel's gotten good at uh, this whole harvesting thing, huh? Alright, and you just guard in here, I guess. This thing's probably gonna be a problem. Okay, nightmare's coming. Raise an alarm. Okay. Uh, right, this is uh, free. There we go. Oh, wow! It did not even split, it just straight up died. That's, uh, that's interesting, okay. And, okay, let's see if we can't interfuse with this. And you know what, why not? Shred that armor, make sure it does not come back. And we'll just plop you there, I guess. They're probably gonna break through this door. Yeah, they're coming through that door. But, let's see if we can't finish this guy off, huh? There we go. 
We're never going to see what this thing can do, huh? Uh, and let's see if we can, like, get behind them or something. I don't know. And wait. And a guardian. Tarvia, open the door. Okay, we got a muse. Vedelin, get in there. Uh, this... Yeah, that's magic damage, so... You'd probably block it. Interfuse, Bone Lance. Blast. Excellent. And is there something in here? We don't know. We just don't know. Okay, that's a Drathix. Drathix is behind us. What's in front of us? These things. Okay. Oh, a lot of those things. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, okay. I see how this is. Okay, let's pop you here. Okay, and you gotta do that. You can't do anything else, or else you will uh, do the thing. And you know what? Let's let's flare. Let's see if we can blind these guys, huh? Oh. Okay, blinded with Rusk, not super great. Fadelin should have this handled though. Yeah, Baydellin just cleared that room easy. Okay, now... Now we got these things, this thing to worry about here. So, let's go get ready, huh? Let's put you here. Uh, display case. And wait. Oh wow, you're just, you're just leaving, huh? Well, unfortunately, we can't allow that to happen. Got a Dweaver. Well, I say Harvest. And then attack from behind. Wow, still not dead, huh? You're a stubborn one, ain't ya? Uh, withdraw. And... This might... No, that's not going to help. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll get you to finish off this, and Baydelin is just going to do her thing and run in here, huh? Yeah. Yeet! And settle. And, I don't know, move up, I guess. Might be able to interview with something in there. Assuming Baydelin doesn't kill everything, which she probably will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay! Level for Irvin? Okay, excellent. Two new levels. Don't think Amethyst is going to be coming in with us, but... Uh, in this will be good? Why not? Bonus damage. You know what? We can always do more bonus. Baydelin can always do more damage. All right, and with that, we're gonna quickly uh, secure this just to get things going. And then I'm gonna gather everyone else here. Yep, and. I think next episode, we are going to finally bring this campaign to a close. Until as we assault the Sea Wild and find the Tower of Locks and confront, uh, whatever her name is, Aluna. Until then, I'm going to have to say thank you everyone so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you liked it. Don't if you didn't. My name is Tam Troll. This is Wildemuth, Aluna, and the Moth with Baydelin's Badasses. And I will see you next time. Farewell. Creatures lurking suffer worse than